Hello, and welcome again to The Booth. Now, we're going to be talking about a very tricky subject. And so you want to be an actor. Hmm. Well, this one is dealing with rejection. Now, with my classes, I intend to go in far depth with how to deal with the situations that we encounter as actors. Because often than not, we face a lot of rejection. Certainly a lot more than we ever get successes. And again, it's having that mental fortitude, that mental resilience, and switching about how we interpret how things have gone. So take this scenario, for instance. You have just been invited to your first commercial project. I've got an audition. I'm going into the room and I'm meeting the casting directors. I'm meeting the producer. I'm meeting their assistants. Oh, brilliant. I've made it. I'm going to show these people what I'm made of. And you do. You do a brilliant performance. Truly. An incredible performance. But you don't get the role. In fact, you don't even hear that you don't get the role. The days go by, your agent doesn't email you. Heck, they don't email you. Okay, well, this was sort of the pencil in date. Still not heard anything. Okay, well, it's the shooting date in a couple of days' time. You hear nothing. You are now guaranteed that you've not got the role. It's gone, been and gone. It's slightly depressing. The longer you think about it, the more that you bind on to this idea of getting that role, the harder it is when it lands flat. So, we don't want to mope about. We want to be successful. And success comes in many forms. First of all is our mindset. Success in our mind is not getting the job. The job is the audition. That is doing the work. Getting into that audition room, performing in front of people, or even on a self-tape and getting shown to the directors, producers, assistants. That is all the work. Well done. That is what we need to be doing and doing well. Whether we get the role or not, it's completely out of our control. Being a good actor means nothing. Honestly, you can be a good actor and be unsuccessful. That's fine. Because the reality is that role is destined for someone else. And when it's your turn, that role would not be better played by anyone else other than you. So, how do we get that mindset? Simple. We always think to the grass is greener on the other side. That person got the job. And social media can be very difficult because you'll see a lot of people getting work. Remember, there's a lot of times where they're not getting work either. So, the grass is greener on the other side. It's not really. It's the same. We're all going through the same thing. But the reality is, you've impressed the casting director and the casting room. That's more important than getting the job ever. Because if you can impress a casting room, they're going to look to get you more work. They will see something that they think that they can put you in. That's worth its weight in gold. Making friends with casting directors is worth more than making friends with directors. Because they're the people that are going to find you auditions. They're going to put you in, in the room with the right people so that you can once again do the work which is auditioning. So, we go in now. We impress the room. We've done a great performance. It felt fantastic. I could feel the energy between myself and the casting director. Or on a self-tape, I am so happy with the work that I've just done. It feels incredible. I feel very confident that I've given my best performance there. We still don't get the wrong. But this time, we've left the room and we're just happy that we did well. We forget about everything else now. Whether you get that role or not is no longer in your control. And if it's out of your control, forget about it. 
It's not important. And I mean that. You may think at the time that it's the most important job in the world. It's not. It's just another job. And there's hundreds of them out there. Thousands of them out of there. Hundreds of thousands of them out there. I wonder how many auditions there are in a year. There's a lot of international casting agencies. You can work all over the globe. Don't be worried about one job not going your way. Don't be worried about a hundred jobs not going your way. Doesn't mean you're a bad actor. Doesn't mean that you can't act. Doesn't mean that you can't do the work. Because the work is auditioning. Things will come your way when those roles are yours. So, we've gone into the room. We're content with what we've done. And now, we move on. We find our next audition. We do our job, which is auditioning. We leave the room and we forget about it. It's a happier cycle. Not worrying about the results means that you can worry about promoting yourself, building new skills and making yourself more marketable. We'll talk about marketing another time. Another very important thing for an actor to learn. Because we are businesses. I'll keep saying this. Acting is a business. As an actor, you are a businessman. Or woman. Or person. However, that means that you've got to build up your skill sets. Offer more. Because the more you can offer, the more opportunities you have. Talking about plumbers. Getting a plumbing role. Why would they get a plumbing role if they're not an actor? Because they know how to plumb. The acting's the least important thing. Doing the thing naturally, that's what matters. So, build up your skill sets. Horse riding. Sword fighting. Firearms training. Basic things. Piano. <laughs> I'm joking. Piano's not basic. Playing an instrument. All important things. And you can usually tell these casting directories the skill level that you are at with these skills. Athletics. Sports that you play. They're all things that you should put down. They're all skills that are valuable in this trade. Because when they're looking for footballers, they're not necessarily looking for A-list footballers. They're looking for actors that can play football, usually to a good standard. Any of you play Sunday League? That's a string in your bow. That's more of a chance of you getting the role. So, our attitude should not be towards an audition thinking we didn't get it. It should be, we did the work. What can I do to get more auditions? You want more work? Auditions are the work. And that's where we should focus. How to get more. Now, I will go a lot more in depth with auditioning. How to present yourself. How to make sure that you are well prepared. And to make sure that you give a great impression when you do enter a casting room or leave a self-tape. All of that is at the Patreon below. It's $10 a month. And we do two workshops every month. So, what are you waiting for? Thanks again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one. Goodbye for now.